the word of God says in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, a beautiful story portrayed about King Jehoshaphat. It says, and it came to pass after this, that the children of Moab and the children of the Ammon, besides the Ammonites, came against Jehoshaphat. A big multitude of army gathered against Israel. Verse 3 says, And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim the fast. So there came a great multitude of army against the uh, children of Israel. And it, the verse says that Joseph, as was the king of Israel, declared a fast. Declared a fast unto the Lord. Because he was so scared. He feared. The, the, the chapter further says, And all Judah, including the king, the people, the children, it says, And all Judah stood before the Lord, even with their little ones. I'm reading verse 13. With the little ones, their wives and their children. And God heard their cry. In this story, King Joseph did not have to fight. Because verse 17 it says, He did not fight in this battle, but set yourselves Stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord. And the Lord fought for Joshua. And the Lord fought for Israel. My dear friends, we are surrounded with enemies. We are surrounded with a multitude of problems. We are surrounded where we are afraid. We are so scared. And we don't even know where to go. But the Bible tells us the story of King Joshua. He declared a fast. He called all Judah, all Israel, to fast and pray in the presence of the Lord. And the Bible says, the battle belongs to the Lord. They did not have to fight. The Lord fought for them. In this time of crisis, it is my urge that you look up to God. Declare a fast with your children, with your parents, with your loved ones. Call upon the Lord and He will answer you. He will never let you die. Whatever your battle may be. Financial, spiritual, economical, social, health. It belongs to the Lord. And the Lord will set you free. This is my prayer. I'm Sanatan Rakshay for Breakthrough Today.